Book Summary. The Art of Reasoning. An Introduction to Logic and Critical Thinking, by David Kelly, is a comprehensive guide to developing logical and critical thinking skills. The book introduces readers to the principles of sound reasoning, clear argumentation, and effective analysis. It equips readers with the tools needed to evaluate arguments, identify fallacies, and make rational decisions. In this summary, we will explore the key concepts discussed in the book, including deductive and inductive reasoning, the structure of arguments, logical fallacies, and practical applications of critical thinking. Chapter 1. The Power of Reasoning. Kelly begins by highlighting the importance of reasoning and critical thinking in our daily lives. The chapter provides an overview of the benefits of sound reasoning and introduces the foundational concepts of logic and critical thinking. Chapter 2. Basic Logical Concepts. This chapter delves into the fundamental principles of logic. Kelly introduces the concepts of propositions, logical operators, truth tables, and logical equivalents. The author explains how these concepts form the building blocks of logical reasoning and lays the groundwork for understanding more complex arguments. Chapter 3. Language and Definitions. Language plays a crucial role in reasoning. This chapter explores the importance of clear and precise definitions and how they contribute to effective communication and analysis. Kelly provides strategies for constructing clear definitions and identifies common pitfalls that can lead to misunderstandings and faulty reasoning. Chapter 4. Deductive Reasoning. Categorical Logic. Deductive reasoning is a cornerstone of logical thinking. In this chapter, Kelly introduces categorical logic, which focuses on reasoning about classes and categories. The author explains how to use Venn diagrams and syllogistic reasoning to evaluate the validity of deductive arguments. Chapter 5. Deductive Reasoning. Propositional Logic. Building on the previous chapter, Kelly introduces propositional logic, which deals with reasoning using statements and their logical operators. The chapter explores truth functional connectives, truth tables, and techniques for evaluating the validity of deductive arguments using propositional logic. Chapter 6. Inductive Reasoning. Inductive reasoning involves drawing conclusions based on patterns and evidence. Kelly explains the principles of induction, including generalization, statistical reasoning, and causal inference. The chapter provides strategies for evaluating the strength of inductive arguments and identifying common pitfalls, such as hasty generalization and confirmation bias. Chapter 7. Analyzing Arguments. Diagramming. In this chapter, Kelly introduces argument diagramming as a visual tool for analyzing and evaluating arguments. The author explains how to identify premises, conclusions, and logical relationships within an argument and demonstrates how diagramming can help clarify complex reasoning structures. Chapter 8. Analyzing Arguments. Evaluating Evidence. This chapter focuses on evaluating the evidence presented in arguments. Kelly discusses the importance of assessing the credibility, relevance, and sufficiency of evidence. The chapter also explores the role of bias and logical fallacies in distorting evidence and offers strategies for recognizing and countering these pitfalls. Chapter 9. Fallacies of Relevance. Logical fallacies are common errors in reasoning that can undermine the strength of an argument. Kelly examines fallacies of relevance, such as ad hominem attacks, appeals to emotion, and red herrings. The chapter provides examples and explanations to help readers identify and avoid these fallacies. Chapter 10. Fallacies of Ambiguity and Presumption. This chapter explores fallacies that arise from ambiguous language or unwarranted assumptions. Kelly discusses fallacies such as equivocation, amphiboly, and begging the question. The author provides guidelines for clarifying language and avoiding fallacious reasoning. Chapter 11. Decision making. Critical thinking plays a crucial role in decision making. Kelly explores decision theory and introduces techniques for making rational choices. The chapter discusses decision making biases and offers strategies for overcoming them to make more informed and rational decisions. Chapter 12 Applying Critical Thinking. 
The final chapter demonstrates the practical application of critical thinking in various contexts. Kelly discusses how critical thinking skills can be used in academic disciplines, professional settings, and everyday life. The author provides examples and exercises to help readers further develop their critical thinking abilities. Conclusion. The Art of Reasoning. An Introduction to Logic and Critical Thinking, by David Kelly is an invaluable resource for anyone seeking to enhance their logical and critical thinking skills. The book covers a wide range of topics, including deductive and inductive reasoning, logical fallacies, argument analysis, and decision-making. With its clear explanations, practical examples, and exercises, the book equips readers with the tools needed to evaluate arguments, make rational decisions, and engage in effective reasoning. By mastering the principles of logical and critical thinking presented in this book, Readers can enhance their problem-solving abilities, become more discerning thinkers, and make well-informed choices in their personal and professional lives. Read the book to know more. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.